So we have Alex Cameron, and then we also have Sam Witt. They were at the fight for Xmas. Uh, this was actually in New Zealand. Uh, so a good amount of players, not too many, but you know, but still a good amount of players for a GT. Uh, as you can see right here, Leagues of Voltan won, and one of these gets did fight him. So we're gonna go over Alex Cameron's list. We have oh my goodness, my nose gross. Um, Beast Boss, Beast Boss on Squeaker Store with Ed Wapas Kill Chaka. Uh I said Chaka. Kill Choppa. Death Killer War Track with Super Cyborg Body. A hey, post data slay. I don't know if we're gonna get hit, but if we do, don't be surprised if this get starts getting used more. Gaz Ghoul Thraka, Mazrog, War Boss. So again, oh my god, very heavy on the character list. Um, and heavy point saturation here in the list. You got 100, 185, 95, 235, 265. Ooh, that's expensive. Uh, but that's kind of where it works at right now. We got a beast naga boy, a boys, it's just a 10 man unit of boys. My goodness, that's awesome. I love my boys. Three trucks, Gretchen, two units of Gretchen, one two man units of Mega Knobs. This is straight up all you need to do for gas. I see people say, Oh, um, I get the five man unit and I get shot. He's so slow, he's so big. You do not need the big unit. Literally, the two man unit is there just so when gas gets his charge off, he gives the he gets dove wounds or so that when people get close to you and they throw grenades at you they can pick up the mega knob that's the point one unit of knobs that's what the one war boss is for and then three three man units of squig hog boys using them for skirmishes and then the storm boy unit so this is a bit more of what we're used to but he went for more character durability so he decided i'm not going to invest in the my units durability we're just going to invest in character durability here between the death killer war tribe beast boss and the quicker soil so let's look at some of his matchups so we have fix that raise your bag so gray knights i talk about on paper uh we you know sorry on the stats what we say in from the you know faction versus faction maybe i'll pull that up real quick again gray knights always hit somewhere like at a 50 percent or end up beating us sometimes um why i think that is is people don't realize maybe they haven't played against gray knights they have mostly movement shenanigan tricks and can actually out see orcs and they're really good at killing our lead infantry so if you give them their infantry they're going to just kill them super quickly uh if you put the wrong units into them they're going to armor of contempt and they're going to tank it um and it's one of those things is do i know what they can do if i can i can kind of keep them off the objectives have utter board control force them to come up to me and then kill them um which is most likely sorry what happened here i had not put that up <coughs> so we got brotherhood chaplain brotherhood librarian brotherhood tech marine uh and a brotherhood tech marine okay we have a justia terminator um a big terminator brick and a terminator brick this is pretty expensive for 20 points so you can see a thousand points to terminators already strike squad strike squad and scepter purgation squad is what i'm talking about they have the ability to murder and punish your infantry and then i'll raise your back i don't really know what the point of that was and the Clades assassin um i don't know if they have an ability that i'm not aware of anymore that they could do something with this but not that i'm aware of it you know maybe he just wanted some shooting and he was having some pizzazz i don't see granite as like a very challenging like meta thing we have to worry about it's really up to use or players to know what they can do and then just retain board control and have proper counter charges and tag them up um they can move away right one thing they can do is great nice i'm about to go into this list but one thing great nice can do is they can charge into you touch you and then use the strat to eventually fall back and fall back up into their objective as a reactive measure <coughs> <clears throat> that's why it's important you have the right units that are actually there to actually kill them also in keeping them away from going back onto the objectives with all of their being pulled off the table and pulled back on that's why i said the movement and the placement of your battles matters more than actual combat in that matchup so now his second matchup was astra militarum death Corps uh court martial death court martial cons ghost um i always joked about this you know in some matchups is actually pretty useful because it can infiltrate and do all these different shenanigans all these different profiles but for orcs we eat that kind of unit up lord invocatus platoon squad uh primary Siger, primary Siger. oh my goodness uh regimental preacher and iron hands tracking okay tracking i see you boy Cat a chance for that. I think they get the scout. I should check again, but I believe they do. Death Corps Krieg, Death Corps Krieg, Death Corps Krieg. Ooh, Infantry Squad, uh, Avengers Fight Fighter. What the heck? I don't know. I didn't notice that the first time. That's funny. Um, Basculus, Basculus, Scout Sentinel, Scout Sentinel, Scout Sentinel. Okay, so he brought a lot of scout. Okay, this guy is looking for great board control too, which I can appreciate this with the guard army. Um, I do own a full to pass the scion army, so I do like guard. I do like the you know you know their rules a little bit here and there uh the thing is Strachan is here to uh, assist the the catachan jungle fighters possibly do secondaries if i got to clear someone off the middle objective early uh tie someone up get into a skirmish track and kind of deal with that and the unit can regen not that he does but all of these units between the battle line and those scout dudes get to regen uh, the one thing is that orcs don't have an issue with board control and retaining it into this kind of guard list where you just have a lot of kind of cheap trash. You're not killing anything reliably, right? You're really, you're really hoping that these basculas go off with the scout sentinels looking at you. Um, 
and that you can tank it as a as a guard player. Like, sorry, that they can't take it as a guard player. You know, Lord Solar helps you a little bit in that matchup. And like I said, Gon Scopes can come up with the Catachans. But <coughs> if you don't have proper punishing units, you can't punish the orcs for giving away free charges, right? If an army, like some Space Marine armies, they can punish you. If they give you a free turn one charge, you take it with too much of an expensive unit, they can kill you and pick up that unit. Uh, guard can't necessarily always do that. And you might end up retaining those and all of that board. And as you're killing them, they're coming back on the table further and further back and getting left in their deployment zone so it is what it is but you know guard is actually a very hard matchup i would like to see what the mission was but he got 100 points in that matchup 100 so great job by cameron let's see at this uh next matchup real quick i pick it up because i got too distracted by you gets uh hold on i'm gonna all this sneezing all right so his next mass up matchup oh i love this was the world eaters so world eaters are one of those armies that have um we'll just call it a skew as a whole in a, in a weird way so we got angron karn lord avocado world eaters with master of indirect combat that's what i call a master of executions because he essentially just ignores whatever all the rules of the five phase are and he just fights and he just murders everybody so a master of indirect combat we had jackals corn berserkers corn berserkers corn berserkers so the 20 man unit right here is just for the master of executioners most likely because you got to keep him alive so you can deliver him and Karn the betrayer gets a five man unit exalted eight bound well oh okay i haven't seen someone use terminators to be honest i don't think it's the most effective unit but whatever he has a predator annihilator and rhinos i would say just right off the bat i'm not sure what he was doing here but some brigands would probably be more helpful or just more units as a whole i mean even their uh and then two rhinos most likely because one you need massive executions and then one for Karn. <laughs> <coughs> sorry oh my god the game went over so um for orcs we actually can deal with world eaters because da 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 fighting that find that actually matters a lot they're very very elite uh when they run into you and kill you they're not used to the fact that you're dragging them down with you they do have the ability to initiate into orcs uh but us having more activation and more units to kind of move block them with does bother them right we can say hey we most orc players on the casual level might make the mistake of or even at the top level make the mistake of i'm going to turn to wall right away and try to just drag you guys down with me uh, if that's the case there's a chance that the world either player can use the rhinos to kind of absorb the wall then they disembark and they counter charge you and even though you have the five up invuln they can actually kill you enough because they have great melee potential because they can get sustained and plus on the wound and blah 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 um and then angron keep coming back so like a smart world leaders player will throw this into you uh to try to kill you and tie you up or whatever and then hope that he gets him back right away because that would be an issue for us as we run out of act uh stuff to kill him with but uh that being said if you can soak up what they want to ch their first charges off because the thing is they get the initiative on us if a girl world leaders player is playing they can get the initiative off on them. uh the thing is we can choose what they get the initiative off a lot of the time um and then we get the counter charges off or if we have to give them something let's say that uh let's say that the, you know this annihilator popped the truck so something has to get killed you can choose hey i guess this five-man unit of knobs is in a fighting death boy take it down uh that was not this list and this list it was a 10-man unit of knobs but like a 10-man unit of knob is the is the abomination to the world leaders massive execution sure it might be a straight up trade you might trade those berserkers for that master of executioner when you find out with your knobs but ultimately you're killing him you're killing the zerkers um and then you're dealing with his biggest pro like unit that he can choose to deal with you on uh, this matchup as well you got to make sure that you don't let them turn one kind of stuff you too too far all the time as your deployment zone as an orc sometimes they'll let you know like sure won't we'll charge you in reality he just wants you to stay so far back that he gets to kind of have board control and start playing the game right away um and stage pretty well so this isn't the most competitive world leaders list but we'll see more world leaders list as we go on i just wanted to give my thoughts on it as a whole but you can see even though it wasn't the most competitive world leaders list, 68 point win <laughs> When you're talking about world eaters um, into orcs, yeah, we do have the advantage because we have more activations, we have more ways to kill them, we have that strap, but they give us a weird kind of matchup because they can put us on the back foot, they can get the initiative on us, they charge us, and they can do everything we can do but to do the whole game. So for this, Death Guard. So another one of our hard, hard matchups. So you can see he's already gone through some good matchups, some hard matchups. Uh, so he had to face all. He had to deal with fighting, he had to deal with shooting. I really appreciate him. Bop, bop, bop. So that being said, Death Guard, we have a Death Guard Demon Prince with wings. I think he gets, he can give Battle Shock and he gets Dev Wounds with his Hellforge weapon when he charges. Uh, the Lord of Violence, he gets reroll wounds and he gets plus one to hit if he's combined with, sorry, if a unit has blast on their weapons and he's in a unit and that unit is looking at the unit that a blast weapon is targeting, that blast weapon gets plus one to hit um, and ignores cover. It's a weird thing, but he, is, he essentially, he's supposed to be like a siege master, or like an engine master. So he's supposed to be kind of helping vehicles and blast weapons at the same time as whatever unit. That's what he does though. Mortarion, the Tallyman, Typhus. Typhus is great <coughs> because he can kind of like snipe on load operatives with his, um, 
he has like an ability like a kind of like a plague fly i believe kind of thing or um whatever whatever he's trying to do is he, he has like a psychic power type thing but it's a dash sheet ability where he could put uh mortal wounds into certain units that he chooses and he usually he'll choose like a loan out for that uh, so it's pretty cool 10 million into plague marines hell brew deshrel termes bloat drones these guys are i think all pretty awesome for death guard because they're one of the only fast units to run up there and give contagion and most armies don't like to deal with them because of their durability then we have two units of plague burst crawlers and a pox walker unit um i wouldn't call it i don't know if this is a new type of meta that i've seen but from what i'm familiar with uh the rhino rush with brigand uh meta is one way um or Tarion with a bunch of plague burst crawlers is another way which is what this way is kind of more leaning into and all the the drones right so martyrion could be used either to come forward or he can be used to support these plague burst crawlers um but as you see with the orglis we had you can see that this guy doesn't have an, a lot of units to actually run up and play the mission and the mid table he's gonna have to deal with throw morty up there either early or at some point because these drones what would typically die slowly and take a while to kill orcs actually have the tools to murder these guys once they close a the distance on you even when they get within contagion range um so that was still pretty cool that he kind of handled that with the 90 point win and then last but not least his world eaters are uh difficult for the most part uh death guard could, sorry i said world leaders death guard well both kind of but death guard could be difficult as we've seen in our uh looking at the stats <laughs> so last but certainly not least he fought iron storm with the ultra smurfs so we got chaplain and terminator armor with the, the flesh uh so i think they gave him a feel no pain i kind of like that it's cute um another chap a chaplain and terminator armor tech marine with adapted the on messiah another tech marine and targeting away array infiltrator infiltrator scout scout yep uh a terminator squad so here's the one little trick what is this kind of terminator squad power fist and storm bolters then we have another terminator squad with power fist and storm bolter for the cyclone missiles another terminator squad so he brought three of these kind of small units that's interesting oh because he's throwing them in land raiders duh he put a one in the land raider with the god hammer last cannon and the second one is again later with the redeemer which is with flamestorm cannon and then two whirlwinds for indirect so it is a bit different he's definitely utilizing the fact that the, the land raiders can run up the table and deliver the terminator squads and benefit from the tech marines uh shooting potential and they're you know helping them stay alive a bit uh sorry they're buffs to their shooting potential and then the infiltrators to make that room so the land raider can actually go up there as well as the scouts sorry so the land raiders can get up there too um so the terminators are doing most of the work here um which into orcs you're getting rocked right because a bunch of terminators that don't have storm shields are actually running up into the middle of the table to land raiders orcs are all over that especially if you're bringing something like a 10-man unit of knobs oh oh you're getting that charge off you're killing the terminator unit even if they fight in death whatever but you're like automatically terminating deleting that one terminator blob not for the fact of everything else you have to do so great job to alex cameron two 100s a 90 getting second place i appreciate it i love it um you know i can i can see you win a little bit more heavy and some of these characters uh with i mean their cost and their value and the death killer war trike i bet you was a quite interesting tech piece to kind of play the far objective make people commit over assets into killing them or not enough and running out of activations to kill them something like this right you would think these terminators or the space marine player would think i'm gonna kill a death killer war trike easily uh they might but it might just cost the land raider and the whole terminators activation to kill that one 95 point dude with the maybe the bikers right so um he didn't bring bikers is what other thing i was going to point out earlier is that he actually didn't end up bringing bikers so that was just a 90 point the the 95 point unit though so that's very interesting that he brought a death killer war trike without any uh bikers so if anybody's watching this and you're wondering could you do that uh looks like you could because that's what he did very cool